reassured and said anyone that had contact with the victim were talking. Hi, this is Mrs. Fernandez, and this is part two of um, making a value scale. So in this part, we're going to work on blending of the value scale. So in the first one, you made each individual square separate and tried to make each value separate from the next. In this one, we're going to practice blending a little bit. Um, we're going to use the pencil so that it makes the value from dark to light. You can also go back and take your value scale and either one and compare it to the value scale that I have on this paper. So if you print it out, you can put it directly next to it. If not, you can leave it on your computer screen and you can try to make those values similar. So you can start on the lighter or darker side, that's up to you. You want to make one side the darkest that your pencil can go and the other side end up being white. And you want to take your time and try to do this evenly so that it blends from light to dark or dark to light very evenly. Now this time you can actually take something and blend the parts together. So you could use a stump, which is a blending tool, or you could just use a piece of paper, a paper towel, or your finger. Now, the whole key here is to have enough pencil on the paper that it blends. So I hear a lot of students saying, oh, my finger hurts from blending this. Well, they had hardly any pencil on the paper and they wanted to try to blend all the way out. You can't do that. You have to blend once you have the pencil on the paper. So for example, if I'm trying to blend this, well, there's not enough pencil, so it's not gonna go anywhere. So I have to get quite a bit of pencil on the paper first before I can really start blending it. And again, if you have the 6B pencils, 6B, 4B, 2B, you can certainly use those. If not, you can just use your regular pencil. And ideally what you don't wanna have, you see this line here, how darker on this side and lighter here. You want to take your pencil and try to blend that out as much as you can. And stay inside your own lines because when you're drawing objects, the values don't go outside of those objects, they stay inside. So we're practice, practicing that as well. Now, once I'm done, what I want to do is look at this value scale that I've blended and make sure that it all isn't blended the same shade of gray. So it should go darker to lighter gradually. And if it's not dark enough, you can always go back and you can add more dark values because what you need is a very dark uh, value, the darkest your pencil can go and then it should blend all the way to the lightest value. Now, if it looks unblended and doesn't fit, what you can do is go back and very, very lightly blend the value in with your finger or with your paper towel or whatever you have on hand that works for you. You can also take a look at your value scale and see, does that somewhat match to what is on the value scale that uh, I've given to you.